Hey guys, it's Jasmine. I'm back today with a chit chat. Get ready with me. So it has been highly requested that I do this. Um, well, you guys have just been asking for makeup tutorials. And I'm like, y'all know I don't do tutorials. But I um, got a couple of things from the Sephora VIB sale. So I figured that I would use some of those in today's video. As well as like some new products that I have actually already been loving. Um, and yeah, kind of update you guys on what's been going on. Because honestly, I haven't posted a video in like a week. Almost two weeks. Oh, sorry guys. Um, but things have just been crazy. Um, I'm just priming my lids with MAC Lay Low, Laying Low, Laying Low, Laying Low. <laughs> um, paint pot. I still use paint pots. For some reason, I just can't use shadow bases. For, they just, I don't know. They just don't do right with me. So I just don't use them. So I'm going to use the Anastasia Soft Blend Palette. I have been loving this. I actually did not get this in the VIB sale, but hopefully you guys did. Um, yeah, I have been loving this palette ever since I got it. Um, probably one of my favorite ones since um, Amrezy. I know a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, I love the Mario one. I like the Mario one. And a lot of people like the Modern Renaissance one. I feel like for that one, you have to be like a pinky person. Um, and yeah, that's just not where I am in this time of my life. Um, so this one is definitely more of me. It's more like of the warm colors and, you know, your occasional glimmery, sparkly colors. And that's what I like. Um... So, I will have like all the details in the description box because I kind of just want to sit, do my makeup and talk to you guys um, and not make this like an actual tutorial because like I said, I don't do tutorials. So, I have been a little MIA and that is simply because I have been working. So, I usually do not pull four day. First of all, why are my hands this ashy? And y'all just wasn't going to tell me. Back to blending and talking. Now that my hands ain't ashy. Um, but I have been working. I actually did four days this week, which, um, I don't know if I've told you guys, but I am actually part-time. So I'm only supposed to do 36 hours in a pay period. Um, I like to do 48 hours in a pay period, but for some reason this week, my schedule got like all jacked up and I ended up doing four days. And if you work night shifts, you know, like that first night off is really kind of a jit. If you work Tuesday night you don't get off until Wednesday morning so technically you got Wednesday night off but you sleep until like three or four and I mean by the time you wake up the day is already almost over anyways your kids are going to sleep because they got school spouse is going to sleep because he has work so that first night off really is kind of a jit and then I was off Wednesday, but then I ended up going, no, I was off Thursday too, and I ended up going back Friday and Saturday. So, yeah, um, I am supposed to go back to work uh, Thursday, Friday, because um, last weekend was actually my weekend to work because we are, it's mandatory that we work um, every other weekend, which sucks because working for a union, they don't give you weekend pay. Um... So, I definitely cannot wait to go back to a HCA um, and get all my bonuses and stuff because that's what I do. <laughs> Supposed to go back to work on uh, Thursday, Friday, but um, it's like a family emergency. So, we had to, we are going to have to fly to Oklahoma on Thursday. I'm not going to tell you guys what is going on. Just, you know, send your prayers. It's, I just feel like it's something that does not need to be discussed on social media. Everything is not meant to be posted on social media. Um, I know a lot of people share, like, their whole lives on social media, including me. Um, being a vlogger, I guess you can say I don't share my whole life. Um, <laughs> I'll show the bits and pieces that I want you guys to see. What I feel like is relevant to my channel. But I don't share everything, honestly. 
Um, and I think that's how it should be. Some things are not meant to be shared and I feel like you have to know when and where to share certain things and um, what's going on in my family right now I don't think it's appropriate to put on social media so I'm just gonna leave it at send your prayers um, for us and we're kind of gonna leave it at that so I will be in Oklahoma I had to take Tank to the vet yesterday you guys he was so embarrassing he was like trying to eat this little cocker spaniel looking dog <laughs> and um girl he was just so freaking embarrassing i was just like oh my god tank i can't take you anywhere he has really bad anxiety in the car too so the fact that i had to take him in the car and then he had to go get shots because he has to get boarded while we're gone and he needed um a border shot or whatever the hell it's called um y'all y'all he was not feeling it he was pissed and it was so embarrassing he's also not neutered so girl he was trying to hump the vet and the vet tag i was in there so embarrassed i was texting my husband because he's at work it's like bruh next time you have to take him because i'm not gonna deal with this i can't I can't deal with Tink and his embarrassment in public. Act like you got some home training, which he doesn't because he don't even listen at home. <laughs> Key to everybody's eyeshadows, blend people. You start out with something and start looking a little funky or you, something is not right, just go back and blend. You can always add color, take away some color by blending it out with another color, just blend. Um, so yeah, we're, we have to fly out, which means my store, I was planning on my store to open this week. Um, but with our schedule, that's just not going to happen. And I do apologize for that, but it will be opening, um, next week. Officially showed you guys all the products that are going to be dropping with the, um, first launch. I am working on some other products that I have already like thought of um to get those products products produced um and i know you guys are gonna love those as well and i'm just hoping this store launch will be successful and that you guys will love everything i know you guys will love everything one of the things that i got that i won't be using today in the um vib sale was the olay henriksen balance and force oil control toner so i've seen desi perkins rave about this um i have very oily skin so i thought this would be a really good toner right now for toner all i've been using is the witch hazel toner um but she talked so highly about this. I was like, well, let me try this. So I made sure to buy this during the VIB sale because it was a little pricey. I guess we will go into one of the main things that I wanted to buy in the VIB sale, which it looks like a lot of people wanted to buy this once there was a sale. And this is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. This thing is so freaking expensive that it is ridiculous. I think it's like 58 bucks for like a primer. A primer, yeah. And I, just, I haven't even opened it. Okay, I'm gonna have to use my finger to like scoop some of it. Um, I seen Jackie Ina rave about this, and who else? Somebody else was raving about it. Who almost took my eyebrow off? I don't know what the smell is, but um, I have very, very oily skin. Um, so we gonna see how this work. Um, let me pull this up some, so. The Bobbi Brown Foundation, I don't even know what the description was, but I basically ordered it. I'll put it somewhere on the screen, but I ordered this foundation simply off of this description. Um, and, you know, I've been seeing a lot of people get PR packages over this product. I have no idea. Mm, it might work. It might be too late. I don't know. We're going to see. If it's too late, I can fix it with... Mm, 
but looking a little orange um, but I can fix it with concealer contour and all that good jazz um, but I've been seeing a lot of people get PR packages over this foundation and it looked really pretty I'm a sucker for foundations um, especially if they are like supposed to be matte foundations uh, I don't know how I feel about this so far initial reaction don't love it and we are going to try this with a brush I uh, might like this a little better with a brush going to apply another layer because I honestly don't feel like it's full coverage it's a little blotchy I also got a new concealer and this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer and I got it in the color N4 and oh I like this color a lot I've heard good things about this concealer. Ooh, the coverage is really nice. Also, I have gotten back into watching Grey's Anatomy. Um, because I can't remember what season I stopped watching it. And I think it was the season that I started going to nursing school. <laughs> because we all know how horrible that is. So I'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit. I think it was 2015 when I actually started going to nursing school, but I don't know what season, and then I like jumped into a season and I was completely confused and I was like, I have no idea what's going on. But then I watched like the last episode of the last season and that episode looked familiar. So I was like, screw it. And I just started back over. So I have officially, I'm officially now on, um, season three and I'm like hooked all over again but it is so funny how like some of the stuff that I notice I'm like a surgeon and I've worked at a teaching hospital also with um residents and stuff and I'm like a hospital like a resident will never do these things like um the last episode I think um Sloan made Izzy and Karev clean wounds <laughs> and do like debridements and wound dressings in turns Q2 hours and I was like bruh you know that don't happen like that you know that's the nurses like nurses do that that is actually put in as a nursing wound care order I would love to see a resident come and turn a patient every two hours and clean some bed sores <laughs> But, yeah, I'm, like, completely obsessed, but there's a lot of stuff that I've noticed now that I think is really funny that I know I didn't notice when I first started watching Grey's Anatomy because I started watching it when it first came out in Germany. And, well, I was living in Germany, and hunty, I did not notice none of that. I really like this concealer. I'm going to let you guys know that now really don't like the foundation really love the concealer it's only right that we set our under eyes with the Laura Mercier translucent powder so a lot of you guys have been voting on what you think our name should be and I have not tallied them up but I'm going to do that and put it in this video and um what I want to do is start like a family board for us that I will put in the like backgrounds of my videos because my walls right now in this makeup room is super bare and I used to have Marilyn Monroe on all of my walls but not so much into that right now and I kind of want to just make my walls like nursing related my brand related and then you know quotes because I'm all about quotes and 
I want to start like either a G Squad or a G Nation board where you guys can like send me in like your graduation announcements, your graduation pictures, or your nursing selfies, or your law school selfies, or whatever you do. Um, or what, you know, even if you are like a natural hair girl or a makeup girl and you watch my videos and you want to send me in like a selfie and I can like post it on the board. Okay. I want to like start featuring you guys in videos because you guys show me so much support. It's only right that I show support back. Um, I'm just setting my face and wiping off the excess with my Sephora Matte Perfection Powder Foundation. And this is in 6-4 Mocha. This foundation, not the powder, but the Bobbi Brown foundation is like really sticky. I don't know what's going on. Not a fan of it though. I think that's definitely going back. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start doing that. I am going to open up a P.O. box tomorrow. I already reserved it. I just haven't went and picked up the key. Um, and I will start having my PO information in the description box so you guys can send me all of like your graduation stuff or like if you want to send letters, pictures, anything like that. Um, and yeah, I'm going to like start a board for us in the background. And also in my store drops, I am going to have something special for all of you huns that order. You guys know it's really hard to do your makeup without music. So I'm just using the, what is this? Black Radiance Contour Palette in medium to dark. I'm actually going to use the Becca Bronzer in Maui Lights. Um, it is not a bronzer on me. It is a blush. So that's what we're going to use. So I also bought a Becca Limited Edition uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is in Dreamsicle. It is a really pretty color. It's like, oh, it's like a really pretty, like, shimmery, orangey color. I stick in the Becca family and go with the Champagne Pop. And what I like to do is take my beauty blender and just kind of blend it all in there. So we don't have any streaks. I actually got another mattifying primer. This is the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Mattifying Base. Um, and this was new. And this is actually the only size that it comes in, which I guess will be really good to travel with. And I'm just going to take a bigger blending brush and just kind of blend these together. Just putting Champagne Pop Highlighter by Becca in the inner corners. And then a little on the brow bone. Well, not really a little, but... Then I got the tester of the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara, Bad Girl Bang, whatever. Um, Cause just like y'all, I've seen everyone go on a trip with them. Hmm, not bad. I have little lashes, so I'm kind of impartial to mascaras. So I just got the little one to see how it would look. Not too bad, but honestly guys, I'm not the one to look for for mascaras because I ain't got no lashes. Mascara is definitely like a wet mascara. Don't really know how I feel about that. 
The mascara that I've been using that I actually really love is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Curvitude. And I think I just like it because it is the way that the wand is. It just really, I don't know, like kind of makes my lashes like a little longer, a little bit more separated. Yeah. So good thing I got the mini one. I'm going to use it, but it's not a mess. So I'm going to just pop some lashes on and we'll be back to finish the brows and lips. I'm just going to finish off my brows by filling them in with a little bit of powder and kind of brushing them out. Um, because sometimes you can lose them in all the other stuff that you do. I'm just going to set them with the Benefit Ready Set Brow. I don't laugh at my lip liner, but it's almost out and I don't have a sharpener. Um, this is Grunge by ColourPop. This is my favorite lip liner. And then lipstick is by Melt. This is on the go. And we are going to finish it off with Max Cream Sheen Glass in Boy Bait. If you are into glosses these days like I am, I swear nobody's glosses is better than Max. I know Mac has been getting a big hit, especially with Sephora popping, all these indie brands popping, but they got the best lip glosses. Or at least cream shin glosses. Set everything. Max Fix Plus. And if you guys got the new Max Fix Plus with the like gold specs in it or the like pink specs in it, tell me if you like it. So I'm gonna do this hair and we're gonna finish it off. Okay guys, so this is the final results. I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat get ready with me. I know you guys have been requesting makeup tutorials a lot, but considering that's just not what I do, I figure it would be a little nice little medium to kind of get ready with you and update you guys on what's been going on with me as well as throw like a little mini haul first impressions in there so we kind of got a lot going on in one video but I hope you guys did enjoy it I'll give you a little bit of sum up on the products that I use the Tatcha primer so far I really like it I really like how it makes my face feel and um, I, of course I have to do more of like a wear test with it to kind of see how my oil is controlled throughout the day but so far I really like it second thing Bobby Brown foundation mm, um, not really in love with it don't really hate it just wasn't really impressed with it um, I thought it would be a lot better based off of everybody's hype around this product um, but like I said it wasn't like a big fail it's just that I compare a lot of stuff to my Fenty Beauty foundation and right now nothing has really compared to it so the next thing would be the bad girl bang mascara mm, not really a fan of it but like i said i'm a little biased because i really don't have natural lashes on my own i have short stubby straight lashes due to my dad being filipino <laughs> So yeah, I'm not really gifted in the lashes department, so I always pop on fake ones anyways. But I definitely think you can just save your money and go with a drugstore brand if you have the same problems as me. If you have long, beautiful, luscious lashes, then I definitely think it will be something that you like. It definitely is super, super black, which I did enjoy, but like I said, it just didn't do anything for my lashes. Did not try the toner. I will definitely try that later on once I take off my foundation and makeup and all that other stuff. Stuff, and I will put it somewhere in this video and tell you guys how I like it if I think it's worth the price or not because right now I just don't know um, but I'll put it somewhere in here also the Becca shimmering perfector and dream sickle I have not used that it just didn't go with the makeup scheme that I have on today but um, I think it's really really pretty the swatches are gorgeous it is limited edition so if you are a makeup collector like I am then I will definitely tell you to hurry up and get your hands on it before it's gone also talk to you guys about the soft glam palette and I think 
it is a must have it is definitely my favorite Anastasia palette that I have my favorite used to be the Amrezi one but I think this has definitely took that one over <laughs> and so yeah get that while you can I know the VIP sale is over but make sure you guys do use Ebates I'm not partnered with Ebates I'm just like a regular customer like you guys but I do shop through Ebates and I'll leave a link below in the description box as well as all of the products that I use today don't judge my nails they will get fixed once I get to Oklahoma follow me on snapchat and Instagram well as subscribe and turn on your notification button so that way YouTube will notify you every time I upload a video and I will have a vlog coming up for you, hun, shortly. So until the next video, I'll talk to all of you, hunts later. Bye. Mwah.